The tarnished plant bug or ligus bug is an insect that affects a very wide range of host crops. It is one of the most serious and widespread pests of strawberries. This insect pierces the flower buds, blossoms, and developing fruit and plant parts. In strawberries, feeding by adults and or nymphal stages results in deformed fruit, often called cat facing or monkey face. Other factors can result in similar symptoms. While the cat face symptom is very distinctive and related to tarnished plant bug, there are a number of other factors that can result in similar symptoms. Therefore, it's important to be careful when monitoring so that you can determine whether controls are necessary. Other things that can cause cat facing or similar symptoms include poor pollination due to adverse weather or cool and wet conditions, lack of wind, frost, nutrient deficiencies, and other things. Adult tarnished plant bug have a distinctive yellow triangle on their back. Nymphs resemble aphids somewhat, however they have no cornicles or little tailpipes and they move very quickly. Nymphs feed within the developing blossoms and fruit. Two to three generations can occur in a year depending on how long the season is. It's important to monitor crops throughout the entire flowering period from pre-bloom until green fruit stage. Count the number of nymphs and adults present in an area of the field. In older fields, start and cover the whole field. In new fields, you can start towards the outer edge. Nymphs are counted by tapping or shaking the flower or fruit clusters over a non-metallic pie plate. You count the number of nymphs that are found within 100 clusters. If you have one nymph or adult for eight blossoms, you've reached an economic threshold. Management of tarnished plant bug is critical to reducing the impact that they can have in a strawberry crop. Monitoring is a critical part of making management decisions and shouldn't be overlooked. If populations or the economic threshold merit it, apply a registered chemical control. This needs to be done according to label directions, adhering to pre-harvest intervals, and applying at times when pollinators are not actively working. In day-neutral strawberries, management can be a real challenge due to the ongoing production of flowers and fruit that take place. Growers should select products that have a short pre-harvest window and then make some sacrifices when it comes to fruit quality if that's necessary.